Okay guys, we're back to our seven steps or eight part series um, of how to build a dream team in a dental office. And again, I'm glad you guys are watching. I hope by now I've gotten some more comments and some feedback. And like I said, I'm recording these at, a, at groups at a time. So I will finish this eight part series. I'm on the road again this week. Um, I'll be back next week and I'll do more videos. So the more you guys interact and comments you make, my team's watching it, um, the more I can make more videos um, specific to what you need in your office. So I'm, I'm hoping you're getting something out of this. Please let me know, because I'm sitting in a house by myself answering questions that I think are needed um, to be answered in the dental office. Um, but if I'm wasting my time, let me know. I'm hoping not. Um, if you don't know me, if you haven't watched the first ones, go back and look, but I'm Laura from Front Office Rocks. I'm not a consultant, I'm an office manager. Um, but I do have a background in organizational development, human resources, and I've done a ton of education and training um, on building teams and change management and organizational development. Um, a lot of stuff that we really don't hear much about or talk about in the dental industry. So I thought why not um, kind of start talking about it on my YouTube channel. So if I haven't said it already, please subscribe, set the notifications up so that you get notified when I put a new video out video out and in this one we're going to talk about um, the third step the third piece of the recipe the third thing that i think you need when it comes to building a dream team so the first thing we talked about was um having a great leader right our dentist our office managers and actually honestly everybody on the team needs to be a great leader that's kind of part of building a dream team is that um we're all leaders when it comes down to it but starting with good leadership secondly it's starting with, or it's having a great team uh, and that doesn't mean just the hiring part of it it also means you you're part of the team you need to step up and act like a team this is not a one one person job this is, is a team so that's the second part the third part is culture and what culture is is really the environment the um it's the it's the feeling of what it's like in your office um, I mentioned this earlier on in other videos. I can tell when an office has good culture or not when I walk in the door. Um, you can feel it. It's like an energy. Think about when you walk into a, a medical doctor's office. Um, or, I have a better one. Think about when you walk into the DMV or wherever you get your driver's license or any sort of a government office. Do you think that they like their jobs? Do you think that they look up to their leaders? Do you think that people like to be there? You can feel it, right? It's like, there's just this, this, this bleh about it. That's their culture. Versus if you walk into a Nordstrom's or um, a Starbucks, right? And everybody's happy to see you there and they greet you and, and people smile at you and they like their jobs. That's the culture. So a culture is something, it's kind of like, and I just recently saw a speaker on this and I wish I could remember the name of the book. I will get it and we'll put it in the show notes in the bottom or, or message me and I'll send you the name of the book. Um, but it was, a, it was somebody who was talking about how culture is like a garden. Um, you know, you plant the garden, okay? So the dentist you plant or the office manager, whoever did the hiring, you planted the garden, you put the flowers into the garden. You know, you have your assistants, your hygienist, your front office, you have this amazing team, okay? And they all came together to, to serve a purpose for your dental office. But you can't just plant a garden and walk away, right? If I planted new plants in my yard, when, if I were to just plant them and walk away and I didn't water them, I didn't weed them, I didn't get make sure they got sunshine and nutrients and all of that, what would happen to the garden? It would die or get weedy or, or look bad, right? And it doesn't happen overnight. It kind of just happens over time. You know, things start to die and weeds start popping up. And so having a good culture is, and keeping a good culture is a lot like having a garden. It has to be maintained, monitored, it has to be nourished, it has to be um, given um, what it needs to grow and to blossom and to bloom. That's the same with your culture in your office. We need to start with the right foundation, right? Which is having the right leadership and having the right team. But then we need to build an environment that is um, pleasant, fun to work in, enjoyable, everybody's doing their job, everybody's getting along, 
and things can be handled as they come up. Meaning as a weed pops up, so as some drama festers or as we have a stressful day and now there's a little bit of attitude at the end of the day, that needs to be handled right away. In order to maintain a great culture, we have to make sure we're addressing the bad along with the good. We also need to be investing and feeding our team in flowers, right? We need to be making sure we're giving them training, that we're having fun games, that we're enjoying our jobs, that we're rewarding our team or patting them on the back and saying, good job. And that doesn't always need to come just from the dentist down or just from the office manager down. It's okay for you guys as team members to say, hey, you did a good job today. I saw what you did with that patient. That was amazing. Or thanks for the help today. I really appreciate you stepping up and, and going an extra mile for me. All of that plays into the culture, okay? So think about jobs you've had in the past that you did not like. More than likely, it had a lot to do with the culture. You, you dreaded going to work in the morning. You, you just kind of went, oh, right? You, want, you couldn't wait for five o'clock to clock out. And then think about the jobs that you really love. Hopefully it's this one, right? That um, you love going to work. You, you know what your purpose is. You know where we're going as a team. You do what you can to make the environment great. You make sure that you're not showing up with an attitude and that you're jumping in and helping. That's an amazing culture. And it takes the team to build and, and foster that culture. So a culture isn't something that you can just say, here, this, we need this environment, make this go like this. Everybody needs to smile, everybody needs to have fun, everybody needs to take care of patients. It's not as easy as a policy manual, it's not as easy as a check sheet, do these 10 things. It is a, it's a feeling, it's an energy, and it's really what your patients feel. I mean, patients don't know if you're a good dentist or not, they know how they feel when they're in the office. They know the experience they have when they're in your office. And if your culture is one that people don't want to come to, is one that people don't really like, is one that people are just want to get in and out, you're really not going to be able to build that dream team and take care of your patients the way you want. So I would suggest, if you haven't done this, maybe take some time with your team to go, hey, what do we love about our office? What do we think we do really well? What do, what do we enjoy about working together? And then what are some areas that we think we want to improve upon? And this isn't pointing fingers and saying, well, she has an attitude and she doesn't show up on time and she doesn't jump in. But instead, let's talk about as a team, what are some areas that we think we could be doing better? Could we do better with teamwork? Could we do better with our communication skills? Could we do better with um, helping each other out or respecting the doctor or putting patients first? All of that ties into your culture. So it's definitely something that the leader needs to set kind of the rules around, right? The leader planted the flowers. The office manager needs to make sure we're always watering the flowers, investing in our team. We need to make sure that we're giving our team what they need. But then team members, you're hugely important in this too. It takes all of you, it takes a village to make sure that your practice has the culture that you want. And I think it's vital because you could have amazing superstars individually, you could have an amazing dentist individually, but if we're not all working together in an environment that we love, you're, it's gonna show through and patients are gonna feel it, right? And if you, and on a flip side, if you bring somebody in that's maybe average, a new employee that's okay, you bring them into an amazing culture, you're gonna elevate them, they're gonna do better. You bring a superstar into an, a new office that's got a really bad culture, you're gonna bring them down, okay? So the culture has a huge impact on performance and building a dream team really starts with you guys looking at what's going on in the practice, the energy, the culture, what you are telling the public, what you're telling your patients, and if you can work on that, you're gonna see everything improve in your practice. So take some time if you haven't already to, to kind of think through this and, and see you know where you guys can improve in your practice. Look for my next one I'm gonna talk about next is the why. We all have to have, Simon Sinek says, you know, people don't care what you do, they care why you do it. I'm gonna talk about that next because that's huge in dental. Make sure you subscribe to this and I would love to hear your comments, how you've improved your culture in the past, how much the culture plays into your practice. Let me know what's going on in your office. I'm here to talk and deal with, or work with you guys, not deal with you guys, work with you guys. I wanna build a good YouTube culture with everybody following me, so let's do that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.